Hello, let's go over page 254 on your math worksheet. Letter A, underneath the box, please write five plus six equals, five plus six equals. Letter B, write seven minus five equals, seven minus five equals. Letter C, eight minus six equals, eight minus six equals. Letter D, 11 minus seven equals, 11 minus seven equals. Now letter E has three numbers, three plus two, plus four equals three plus two plus four equals. And letter F also has three numbers. Five plus two plus three equals. Five plus two plus three equals. Now, um, let me just give you a little reminder on that. When you have three numbers to add together, you add the first two together, and then, Allie, she's ready for you. Yeah. Um, you add the first two together, and then you add the last digit. So um, answer these after the video, and I want to move on to number two. The first one on number two, I have written on the board for you. Now, when you have um, three two-digit numbers, you just take one side at a time. So here you would say three plus one equals, if it's easier, you can draw a little line. Three plus one, excuse me, three plus one is two, plus two is four. So we did the ones column first. Now the tens column, four plus, four plus one is five, five plus two is seven. Now we're, we're um, adding money, so your answer has to be in cents. So 74 is the answer to the first one. I would like you to do the next three by yourself after this video. Let's look at the clocks, remember? Hour is a short word, H-O-U-R. So that um, hour hand is the short hand. Minute is a long word, M-I-N-U-T-E. And that is the long hand. Long word, long hand. We count by fives. Let's go around the clock counting by fives. I realize my clock is backwards, but you can pull out yours. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of confusing for you. Let me uh, let me do it this way. There we go. All right, ready? Go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. How many minutes in an hour? 60. Very good. Now... In number three, they want you to draw the minute hand. So they want you to draw the minute hand for 405. 405 is an example where um, any number less than five still has to have a digit in the tens column, so they put a zero there. So that's why 405 is written with a zero in the tens place. Now, the hour is easy. The hour goes on the four. But the minute is what can be a little bit trickier. Okay, so there's four o'clock. 405 would be the big hand on the one. So you may do that on your paper. This is what it should look like. The next question is 745. Can you do that one? 
I'm going to give you a minute to answer that one, and then I want to see if your answer matches my clock. Do the hour first. The hour is seven. Now it's not going to be right on the seven because the minute, the minute is, the minute is uh, forty-five. So that means it's almost eight o'clock. In fifteen minutes, it will be eight o'clock. Do you have your answer? I have mine. All right, I'll show you what I have. This is what I have. Seven forty-five. The little hand is almost to the eight, but not quite. And the big hand is on the nine because when we count by fives, we call the nine forty-five. Story problem. Tina picked. I'm going to skip number four. I'll, I'll come right back to it. Let's do the story problems on number five. Tina picked five flowers. Tanya picked six flowers. How many flowers did the twins pick all together? All together is an addition word. So five, F-I-V-E, circle. Six, S-I-X, circle. Five plus six is? Now, let me pause you if you're having trouble with adding. Remember, and this is very important as your numbers get bigger, whichever uh, number is the biggest, put that in your head. Whatever is the smallest, if you need to use your fingers or if you need to use straws or if you wanna use the um, sea animals that I sent home with you for little counters, the small number you add to the big number, but always start with the big number. That will make it easier and quicker. So. Your two numbers that you're dealing with are five and six. Put six in your head plus five and count. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five plus six is eleven or six plus five. We know we can say it either way when it is an addition sentence. Are you all set? The second story problem is... Tanya picked a daffodil that had six petals. Six, S-I-X. Two of the petals fell off. How many petals were left? Were left is a subtraction word. Six, when you're dealing with subtraction, you have to start with the biggest number. So six goes up here. And if you need to use your fingers or a counter, it would be the smaller number. And in this story problem, it is two. So six minus two, six, five, four. So six minus two is four. All right, jump back up to number four. Um, we're going to use this to help us with this. Now, before I get to this, we have, we have done missing numbers before, but we've never done it with two digits. It's no problem. You do it the same way if it's, one, um, if it's a two-digit number or a one-digit number. Let me show you how. So this is the first one on your paper. 43 plus what is 65? Okay, let's draw a line down the middle to remind us that tens are on the left and ones are on the right. Which column do we do first? The ones column. Now, three plus what equals five? I think by now, you probably already know the answer, but let me show you how I can get the answer and how you can be sure your answer is correct. We want to get to five, but so far they only gave us three. So we're gonna, let me see. So we're gonna start with, with three, but we wanna get to five. So three plus what equals five? Three and keep counting. Four, five. So three plus what is five class? Yes, two. So two goes in the ones column underneath the three. Three plus two equals five. That's right here. That's a two. Now, four plus what equals six? Well, again, we can use my 10 frame. So, 
so the number they gave us to start with is four, but we want to get to six, so keep counting. Four, five, six. So four plus what is six? How many green circles? Two. Four plus two is six, so two goes here in my tens column. So 43 plus 22 is 65. When you do the ones column first and then the tens column, it makes it a lot easier. Subtraction can be a little trickier, but it doesn't have to be confusing. Again, draw a line down the middle. Tens column, ones column. Eight minus what equals five? All right, let's count backwards from eight. Here's my counting chart. Eight, uh, we're trying to get to five. So let's count backwards. One, two, three. It took me three jumps to get to five. So that means that eight minus three is five. Write that on your paper. Okay, now seven minus what is six? Let's go to our number line. Seven, one jump took me to six. So seven minus one is six. So six, see, 22 is your answer for your addition, fill in the blank. And 13 is your answer for the subtraction, fill in the blank. That completes page 254. I mean, that it completes my explanation. You still have to finish the work. Before I end this video, I would like to do um, a little bit of um, counting practice. I want us to start with um, counting by fives. So, we're going to start wherever I, wherever my pointer lands, and then we're going to count by fives to 100. Okay, so let's start here, and we're going to count by fives to 100. Here we go. So we're starting at 55. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. 90, 95, 100. Remember your pattern when you count by fives? Five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. Let's do one more. Round and around and around she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Here. Here we go. Count with me. 75, 80, 85, 90. 95, 100. Good job. All right. So that is it for this video. I have some more math fun that we could do later today. I was planning to do it on my Zoom uh, meeting at 1 o'clock. If you're not able to join us at that time, please let me know another time that I could play some games with you because I have some, some fun learning games that I would love to um, help to... Um, to share with you and um, I want to do it when you're available. All right, take care. Bye-bye.